Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm back again with a unboxing of $6 shirts. So this is uh, from $6shirts.com. I did a video before on the channel where I unboxed their mystery pack. So I ended up with another two mystery packs of shirts. So I have 20 shirts here. And I just received these. I unboxed them just because they were in a big box and it was kind of folded and rolled up in there. So I haven't really looked through here and I the only one I've seen is the first one that I pulled out. Friends don't lie. <laughs> I've had some friends over time that I should have worn the shirt around. <laughs> but anyways, um, so like I said, I got 20 shirts, two mystery packs. And if you don't know, the mystery packs are basically exactly that, just a pack of random shirts. I don't know necessarily how that they you know, they pick them because I've received over the past a couple, a couple uh, of the mystery packs and I've not gotten a duplicate yet. So that's good, right? So you can order multiple. And I think obviously they probably just randomly pick them out and maybe, I don't know if they know what they sent you before or not. So if you've ordered multiple times in a year, do you get different shirts every time or what your risk of getting a duplicate is? But long story short, I've been happy with these shirts. <laughs> I wear them all the time. So, and, and people always comment when I'm out at the store, people are always making comments around the shirts that I'm wearing uh, just because, you know, people haven't seen them before. I, I think the one that I've gotten the most comments about is uh, Amity, Amityville Horror House, right? So there's like a the outline of the Amity Amityville Horror House and tons of people are just like staring and often it'd be like, is that the house from that movie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, so if you're looking for some conversation starters, uh, you definitely can get them with these shirts. Now this, so this first one is black, friends don't lie. Uh, this time around it looks like I got some Delta Pro weight shirts. Um, and I'm a bigger guy, so I got these in 2XL just to make sure, you know, if they shrink or anything like that in the the wash that it won't be too tight. So I'm usually between, an, you know, an XL, 2XL in size. Uh, but anyways, Delta Pro weight. I think last time they were Hanes shirts. So it looks like, you know, depending on when you order, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure $6 shirts uses different, you know, different shirt suppliers, depending on what they can get, you know, to do the screen printing. So again, these are Delta Pro weight. This is a size 2XL. Looks like it would fit me and I'll try them on later, obviously, but uh, yeah. So first one is friends don't lie. Second one is in this kind of like a Heather, uh, red kind of sweatshirt red looking color a little bit softer now this one is actually a fruit of the loom shirt so the first one was a delta pro uh, whatever it was a delta pro weight and then the second one is a fruit of the loom cotton shirt 2xl like i said this one says food motivated now that's very true <laughs> i think i share this with my daughter you know you can get us to do anything if you feed us so uh, food motivated yeah that's it's a good one to wear I was hoping I would get this one, uh, honestly, because I, I thought <laughs> this is like such a cool shirt. So st stormtroopers support the troops. This is a, uh, a Delta shirt again. So that's pretty cool. Like that one, definitely. Um, I've seen this one on there a lot too. On their website, they often feature it. So Trash Panda. This is a bane of my existence. At my house, we're in an area where there's tons of these stupid raccoons. They're cute, but they destroy my trash cans all the time. So I definitely might wear this one when I'm out and, and cursing the, the little evil trash pandas that throw my garbage all over my yard. Uh, and this is a Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> this is a good one, actually. So then this one I might wear when I'm uh, on some work calls because often this happens, right? Like, hey, just let me... Drop everything and work on your problem. So that's cool. And it's in a, you know, kind of a um, old school CRT screen font, which is nice. That's a Delta Pro Weight shirt in black. Next one is a Shh, No One Cares. <laughs> uh, like that in green. It's Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> so a uh, cat meme picture, Are You Kidding Me? It's another good one, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's a Delta shirt in a gray. And the, and the fabric on these is really nice. They're, it's not too thin. It's not too thick. Um, I do feel, just in the couple of shirts that I've been unboxing so far, 
Um, the Delta Pro weights are a little bit thicker than the Fruit of the Loom ones, but you know, very comfortable fabric. Okay, what is this? Oh, for Fox sake. <laughs> That's another one that people won't get probably when they look at it and they'll be like, wait, what is this? Yeah, there's for Fox sake. I like that one. It's in a gray with some orange and brown on it. This one is a waiting for the mushrooms to kick in <laughs> in green. I like that. This is probably more a working in the yard sort of thing because, uh, yeah, whatever. But uh, I would wear this one outside working in the yard. And the screen printing on these is pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can really tell here, but, uh, you know, all the printing that I've seen on the actual $6 shirts, it's 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 good for six bucks or, you know, and, and when you get these mystery packs, it's even cheaper than that when you average it out. Now, their shipping costs and all that, which is one thing that's a little bit high, I think, generally, because when you go to ship it, depending on where you are and how far you are from their distribution factory or whatever, you know, that can raise the price a little bit. But if you're getting 20 shirts, you know, you're maybe paying a buck a shirt to have it delivered, which is not bad. <laughs> So this is a funny one if you're a Seinfeld aficionado. So Vandal Industries, importer and exporter of latex and latex related goods. I don't know what, uh, I forgot what episode it was in. It might have been in some of the earlier seasons of Seinfeld. But uh, I think George claimed to have or he interviewed as a latex salesman when he was trying to get an unemployment extension. And it's pretty funny, right? So... I don't know how many people are get, will get this one unless they're a Seinfeld fan, but that's that's pretty funny. I mean, this one I might have preferred if it was black on gray instead of the white, but I mean, you can still see it. Here's a whole uh, zombies watching TV or watch TV, zombie face people on the news, which depending on your persuasion is something that could be very true or very false. I happen to think it's true. This would be a good one for my son, actually. I paused my game to be here. <laughs> and a nice red. Uh, here's another good, funny one. So hang on, let me overthink this. <laughs> I like that. And this is a, uh, again, one of those red kind of heather colors. So it's not really solid red, but it's not, it's got a little gray in it, kind of like a sweatshirt material. So here's a, shall we play a game? Uh, this is from the, uh, I think, War Games movie. So that's, that's, that's a cool one. That's a, I, I have to watch a movie again. It's been a long, a long time. Shall we play a game? Global uh, thermonuclear war, yes please. No, I shouldn't say that, but, you know, it's obviously something that potentially could happen. <laughs> given today's uh, world. So here is a Viking, I guess. A Viking mask. Bearded Viking dude. Now I have a beard. I don't have a mustache that's braided, but this is a this is a nice shirt. I like it. I don't know if it's supposed to be off kilter or not, but this one looks like the face is a little bit slanted at a diagonal. So this one might be a print mistake or not. I don't know. This is funny. The Ministry on the website. I, I I've seen this one before, and I think it said something like that. You know, they call it the Ministry of Silly Walks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like kind of kind of funny. So this is a blue, dark, dark royal blue color. Skynet, there you go. Cyberdyne Systems Corporation. So a little Terminator, Terminator action here. Very cool. So here is a Wayland Utani Corp. So anybody that's into space movies or anything like that, but like all the alien movies, you know, this was the big gigantic conglomerate that basically owned space and had all the technology. So this is pretty cool. So this is like a gray silk screen on black. I like this one. Very nice. Uh, uh, this is the first duplicate I've gotten. So I did get this one in a prior mystery box or mystery pack made in the 80s, which is generally true for me. I was born in the late 70s, 77. So closing in here on 45 years old, but Definitely grew up in the 80s, so this is a appropriate shirt for me. And my other one is actually kind of worn out, so it's it's a good one to get restocked on. So it's kind of a dark green on black. 
so that's cool. And the last shirt, so this is number 20, I feel like I'm already tired tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> which is also very true most of the time. So I'm, re I'm recording this on a Friday, and I do feel like I'm already tired tomorrow. So, so yeah, all in all, this uh, I'm pretty happy with this uh, assortment of shirts. There's nothing I wouldn't wear. Um, the only one I think I would probably not wear out in public might be the mushroom one because I'm, I don't know, whatever. Like, there's nothing wrong with... Uh, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with um, mushrooms or magic mushrooms or whatever you like to do, but um, that's just for me. I wouldn't wear that one, so I'll wear that in the yard. But all the other ones are definitely legitimate shirts that I would wear. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's basically it. I just want to do this quick unboxing, quick reveal of what I got. Again, I ordered two mystery packs and got some good shirts. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll link to the $6 uh, shirt website, maybe some information and specs on the, the materials that they use. Uh, they're mostly, you know, it's a cotton blend kind of shirt. And, you know, very nice. I mean, they hold up well over over the time. I, you know, I wear these things all the time. You know, I've washed them up tons of time. And, uh, yeah, I've had nothing but good, uh, good feedback on the quality, uh, print quality, build quality. I mean, they're using decent shirts, you know, Fruit of the Loom or Delta Pro weight, like I said. So this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.